etc. First punchy. Etc. First punchy. Th now he goes. So is an icon. Mike Tyson. Iron Mike. People around the world uh, do want to see this American phenomenon. All the dreams. I used to read Word Up magazine. All right, I'm Mike Tyson, heavyweight champ of the world. I won titles, I had I had everything in the world, but I still had that darkness in me. Pet tigers, bro. He's <laughs> wrestled with them. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion it's ever been. Because at this particular point, I was throwing. I, what can I say? Hydrogen bombs. And at any moment, man, any punch was with murderous intention. I believe he will be the youngest heavyweight champion of all time. And if he remains dedicated, interested, and without any distractions, I believe that eventually he will go down in history as the great moment in boxing history than Mike Tyson. He was a great American success story, a street kid who fought his way out of poverty to astounding fame and fortune. An ominous sense of dread. Fear was a lot of Tyson's weapon. The fighters came in almost frozen. He comes naked with his shoes on. He's a gladiator. He signifies what he's about. Mike Tyson's opponents come in with uh, great psychological disadvantage you guys come into the ring and they are scared black shoes no socks black trunks as soon as you stepped in the ring the other guy across the ring what were you thinking i mean because he was thinking oh that's my ass this has the anticipation of a doberman who's happened upon 210 pounds of unguarded meat i how dare them even challenge me in these fighters you know what i mean you know what i mean with their primitive boxing skills you know what i mean they're as good as dead it was a persona he was trained to adopt wherever i've been okay what country i never had experience being captivating and spending that seven years with yeah. custom motto he's the one showing the size on me and anything but it was the intimidation factor he said intimidation is the, the most um magnanimous factor in life one national junior olympic boxing championships 15 year old mike tyson Here Jimmy we go. Bombs away, Jimmy. Let's watch this carefully. Because Tyson in the blue is a bomber. He's trained by no other than Custy Amato. Oh! And there it's all over. Oh. And, uh, Tyson is coached by Custy Amato at Lord Patterson and Jesse Torres, two world champions. Up and coming young heavyweight named Mike Tyson. He taught Mike from the age of 13 to the age of 19 how to control his emotions. Custy Amato immediately saw Tyson's potential. Your mind is not in your work. Your mind is not in your work. There's something distracting you. He was my father. He was my father. And there's nothing else I could tell you. He loved me. I loved him. boxing trainer Gus D'Amato, who finally turned Mike's life around, took him under his wing and rechanneled Mike's energies in the boxing. D'Amato immediately went to work, preparing him to be a champion. When you get hit, that's when you gotta be calmest. That's when you gotta be calmest. When you get hit. A professional fighter has gotta learn how to hit and not get hit. At the same time, be excited. Tyson channeled the rage of the impoverished and abused. I was angry, you know, I was just a little kid. I was still bitter. I wanted to make people pay. Being part of Customato's family was therapeutic. It gave him direction, it gave him order, it gave him care, loving. Tyson's teens were spent in the D'Amato family. Cus eventually adopted him. If he weren't here, I probably wouldn't be alive today. The fact that he is here and doing what he's doing 
and doing as well as, him, as he's doing and improving as he has gives me the motivation and interest to stay alive. And from the beginning I met him, he always talked to me like I would never talk to me like a child. And he said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to beat all these guys. We're going to win this championship. And I didn't even have an amateur fight yet. And he told me all these things. He just met me. I'm a little kid. He said, you're going to be the world champ. You get emotional when you talk about cuss. I didn't know I was the one. Well, you were a specimen. Things were to have to be a fighter. Tyson, when I first had him, he was 190 pounds, nothing but muscle, 12 years old. His anger cloaked him in a shroud of intimidation. I'm only 12 or 13 at the time. I'm not going to take my title. You're the champ, fight smart. I like a tiger. But um, I was a monster, man. Oh, man. It was two years in a row that I took him in, and he won him by first round knockouts in every fight. Hey, Cuss, eight second knockout in the first round. Eight second knockout. Let's go home. The uh, help that Cuss gave Mike was not only in the ring, but out of the ring. And even though I had a mother and family, that was my first encounter with love. Yes, and so you were the son he never had. Yep. And I feed the fire until it becomes a roaring blade. And then when it comes to roaring blaze, I pour huge logs on. And then you really got a fire going. That's what I do with these boys. And that's what I try to do. Did you live there at his house with Yeah. For how long? He adopted me for, um, from 14 to 19 till he died. Can Tyson finish this? I think so. A jolting little left hook that shook Halpin down to his heels. He quickly developed a reputation for first round knockout. Did you, did you ever stop and think like, man, how lucky am I that I ran into that man? No, no. He said he summons me. He summoned you. Whoa. He summoned you. Because if you take a boy and you teach him how to fight from beginning to end, part of you is in him too. So that when he fights, part of you is in that ring. From Catskill, New York, he is undefeated in three professional bouts, all victories, all knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for Mike Tyson. This horrific storming destroyer just coming after your soul. You so is mine. It's like a steam hammer. Boy, that was fast. Boy, that was hard. For 220 pounds, but moved like a 160 pound guy. Oh, left, the, the legs have gone. This is all over. Yes, it is. I don't believe it. That's, that's well inside a minute. Tyson absolutely destroyed him there. Kevin Rooney rounded out Team Tyson. I, mean, I remember Cut showing him how to throw the uppercut with the proper snap. And Mike would come right over here in the mirror and just practice it for like you know, round after round. Together with Cuss, they molded Tyson into a force of devastation. Bang, over here. Bang, with the left hook here, over here. Great boxing manager. Great man. That was, a, that was a, a great point in my life. You know, America, the world, America is run by money. Run by business is run by money. Money first, money first. You, the big businessmen, they make decisions based on money, how the money cost was the principle. What was print, what was right and what was wrong. And money meant nothing to him. He used to tell me to be careful of this, to watch out for this. And everything that he said when he was alive came true. Teacher of young boys. Tyson not only has a very hard, terrific punch in either hand, but he has developed elusive qualities and has the most important quality, the will to win. While in the gym, he practiced Amato's peekaboo style fighting with one's hands high, as if in a defensive screen. He has the ability, he has the potential, and most of all, he has the desire. 
He really wants to be a champion. Let's think about it. Ow! Fighter who's a devastating puncher. You cannot really calculatingly plan for a fight to go eight rounds or ten rounds. Yes, uh, Mike Tyson, in my opinion, the most exciting young heavyweight in boxing. He keeps punching. Schedule six, but hold on to your hats. Nobody thinks it's going to go that far. Down he goes. Two. What a Three. great shot. Seven. They keep wheeling him out. He keeps knocking him over. Okay, look at the stats. Ten fights, ten wins, seven inside the first round. Tyson, impassive, Kevin Rooney, cutting the gloves off. Is it getting a bit too easy for Mike Tyson? Because, in my opinion, the mind and emotions are about 75% of boxing. Tragically, Custy Amato passed away. The only real father figure Mike had ever known was gone. Cus had surrounded Tyson with everything he'd ever need to carry on. A trusted management team with Jim Jacobs and Bill Caton. A loving trainer in Kevin Rooney, who'd been brought up by Cus himself. Tyson still lives in the home owned by the D'Amato family. The Tyson story is more, you know, more to, in my opinion anyway, the Cus D'Amato story. If Cus would have remained in your life a little bit longer, do you think that your life would have turned out a little bit different? Totally different. I feel like his career and his life would have been very different if Cus didn't die when he did. I think so too. Yeah. I think so too. You miss him to this day? Do you think, Mike, that if he had lived, that your life would have been different? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The late and legendary trainer Customato was the only real father figure Mike Tyson ever knew. Had ten fights, but very few of them go past the first round. The bobbing and the weaving, the constant head movement, the crouching, etc. First punch he threw. Eddie Richardson looking at the referee is in much disbelief as we are. Tyson is a little icebox rather than a refrigerator. I'll tell you what. a dear friend in Customato not too long ago, and uh, a lot of people thought you might not come down here and fight. You were quoted as saying that uh, Cus would have wanted to tell you. Well, most definitely. Even though he didn't, Customato, um, being around him since the age of 13, I'm more like business orientated, and I know not to let anything get involved in business. You know, things happen, we all have disappointments, but we can't, we can't let these things stop our lives. We have to go in. The heavyweight division has always been boxing's glamour group, and now a new star is rising in the division. He's 19-year-old Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, like Muhammad Ali, transcends the sport of boxing. I mean, dude, remember when we used to think that nobody could beat Tyson? Yeah. Remember? I'm expecting not a Mack truck, but an express train to run over a guy that's standing on the track saying, stop. Blood coming from the nose of Sammy Scaff already. A big left hook. Everybody guy. thinks that uh, no one can challenge Mike Tyson right now. You could take anybody out. To... My, my mission is to go and destroy and not to let anything get involved. You get punched, you get hurt. I refuse to be hurt, knocked down, and knocked out. I can't lose. I refuse to lose. The raging bull, Jake LaMotta, had an ominous warning for the young fighter. Yourself. Stay away from all the garbage out there. Yeah. There's a lot of garbage out there. Oh, yeah. Well, why do women have to be garbage, though? No, I know, I know but it's, uh, unfortunately, guys like you and I, we attract garbage. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Mike Tyson, and he is very much a local favorite. Tell me about this approach of yours to boxing. You enter the ring, you wear black, uh, you don't wear socks. I'll tell you, Mike Tyson has come to fight tonight. That's the first time I've seen a main event fighter come in the ring with no robe on. He says, I'm ready to go. Let's just do it. Oh, this guy is like a, like a ball of granite. Don't go to the bathroom. Don't get a snack. Don't even get up to look for the channel changer. This fight is not going to get outside the first round. Boss. 
awesome is an overused word in the 1980s, but Mike Tyson is absolutely awesome. I had 15 fights in one year, 15 knockouts, so you take it, send it to all the sportscasters, mm -hmm. and then come in, people just start bidding to have me fight in that, that city or whatever, that town. David Jaco, the white fighter in the dark blue trunks, mixed it with the best. Tony Tucker, Pierre Kutzer, he's knocked out Razor Ruddock. Can't fault this quality of opponent for Mike Tyson. Tyson had made believers out of the public. His capturing the heavyweight title seemed like a foregone conclusion. Many who are predicting that Mike Tyson will be the next heavyweight champion. Yes, that's true. Mike is a ray of sunshine.